Hi, right, we're at Avely where Greys play their home games after a frustrating 0-0. Um, Kays, in our opinion, were probably the better team, but could have lost it 2-0 with, with Tolfrey uh, making some good saves. Uh, two main talking points, one where Josh Casey was fouled, referee gave a free kick, but ended up booking Casey, we think for alleged overreacting when he had six stud marks in his leg. Uh, the other talking point when Ryan Moss was through and goal, gets clattered by the goalkeeper, is it a penalty, is it not, is it a red, is it a yellow, but no free kick was given. Uh, that incensed a lot of the players, there was a bit of afters after the game, uh, the referee had his book out, we're not sure if anyone got uh, booked or sent off, um, but we're about to find Alan Dowson and find out what happened. John my case manager Alan Dowson after this evening's 0-0 draw against Grey's Athletic. Alan, we're talking about the referee again, as we were this time last week. What did you make, firstly, of the incident involving Ryan Moss when he was through in goal, beat the goalkeeper to the ball and got clattered? When the linesman flagged, that was um, a foul, and he's even said it was a foul, but he didn't want to talk to anybody. He's done it on purpose, that's what I think, you know, I've been talking about twice where I thought it was a mistake last week. I didn't think, when you know about a referee who's done things on purpose, Josh Casey gets brought down by their lad, and he's caught, he said to Josh, he's a diver, but he's given a free kick to us. But he's called Josh one minute, so Josh says, you're Josh, and he's booked Josh. And he wanted to send people off at the end of the game, he's a disgrace, he says, you should. I've had him a few times, and he's the same as Dunn Dunn's at Tunbridge. So, um, you know, if I went to the league and said, please, can we not have him? Um, they'll just throw a book at me, saying Dawson's moon again, all that, you know. But if it, you'll ever get a worse referee's performance than that. Last week was a mistake, and a bad mistake, but I think it was an honest mistake. Um, this week, was I thought it was done on purpose, that's what I honestly think, you know. And, um, I, I wish I could change your mind and you get the Raymond League and uh, the people are back him because he's given a few yellow cards and they you may go up a little bit because that's what they do these days. But he, he was an awful display by a referee tonight, an awful one. And like you say, he's went clean through Moss, goalkeeper has brought him down or fouled him. Then what do you do with a goalkeeper or something like that? <laughs> it's ridiculous, like you know. But bad referee and uh, missed chances. We missed chances. We, we didn't do great up front tonight, to be honest. And um, when it's been our strength in months, it hasn't been our strength um, on the last two. Night time game, so um, we need to finish chances as simple as that. Like, you know, so we'll let her think something like that. Well, better with a one up there, I thought, to be honest, with a two, to tell you the truth. So, um, there we are, better kick on. And the referee's assistant, could he have raised his flag for a Matt Drage goal in the first half? What was your take on that? Uh, I'm too far away. Yeah. The VSC was in, but lads would say that anyway. All I can see is, is their bench thought it was, but I don't know. And uh, it was cleared off a lane, fair play. And, all the rest of it, but um, I'm just more bothered about the performance in general. Where I thought I don't mind honestly, I try to frame my teams on honestly, but when you don't get an honest performance from a referee, you've got no chance, like you know, and that's what I, I didn't think you'd done. You know. And despite the referee's performance, did we create enough ourselves for your liking this evening? What well, the chances Moss should have scored, great chance, and they come back to 90 and he should have scored, great chance, should have scored there off the corner when was it and I wasn't not, and two minutes later, Alan Goods headed it sort of across and dance headed over. But um, not loads on it, you know, and that's a bumpy pitch night, you know, a lot of dug in and attitude was spot on. Um, you know, laid that battle well and uh, didn't have enough quality in the midfield, I didn't think that, uh, to pick a pass back forth, kept a clean sheet, fair play to them again, but didn't have enough quality to pick a pass. And uh, the Widens, to be honest, like, you know, worked hard but didn't have enough quality, so I think the quality on a bumpy pitch let us down a bit of night, but there you are, it's not a bad point, and um, still in the hat on with um, going on to. Um, Six games ago now, five games ago, whatever, I don't know. Uh, but anyway, we're, we're going to start this game, you know, we're going to try to win the game again, and hopefully we will do, you know. Do you feel a bit more under pressure after the results this midweek, um, coming here this evening? Does that have any impact on the game plan tonight? No, not at all, it's not, it's, I don't feel pressure at all. I've had enough of pressure, to tell you the truth. So, um, I, I do still think that we're capable of beating anybody on our day. Um, disappointing when you come to a place like this and you feel so you should win the game. And when things go against you, but it ain't a bad point. Company Grey hasn't drawn nil nil, not really. So we'll be all right, and um, we've got to make sure we win the game Saturday, you know. And it does extend our unbeaten run, doesn't it? And our, our longest all season in this. Aye. Aye. Um, that must give the players a bit of confidence. It's got to. Not gonna lose. No, it's got to. You know, we've got to give hand Maidstone, and you know, we've got to give hand Dulwich, and all the rest. We've just got to make sure when we play these teams, we beat them, and uh, we can't ask for no more now with the um, games left. So it's all right. We're all right. Yes, we should win. If we're all going to get the top five, we should, uh, should be winning games tonight. But I thought we missed chances. And, uh, I just thought we didn't have that spark tonight where we'd pick a pass. On a very difficult conditions with this whirling wind and the pitch. Uh, but uh, the referee who I thought done things on purpose, I think he's got to look at himself and all, to be honest. We've got a 
the game on Saturday at Cray, they're bottom of the table, but yeah. it's not going to be easy. They're always a physical side. Aye. Do you think we coped well enough with the physical aspect of the game this evening? Aye, all right. I thought uh, this year, I, I, I just thought that if you look through a team at back four, I've got to take credit, and I thought Hogg got to take credit for looking after that um, call a well. Um, when I look at the midfield, they laid that battle hard, but I thought we were struggling there a little bit, to be honest. And the wide ones didn't give her enough, and up front didn't give her enough. So it's one of them where yeah, it's difficult, so it was difficult, but I, I just didn't think we'd give anything. Um, you know, I just, we needed a bit of a spark in there. But listen, listen, listen like I say, I'll keep saying it's a good point away from home, and um, we've got to go and beat the as that. We've got no ifs, buts, or nothing about it. Another 24 hours, we concentrate on the career game, and that's where we've got to win, you know? Good luck, Sasha. Okay, thank you. Cheers,